welcome to Season 2 Spark Edition of Investment Insider brought to you by Invest Langor. My name is Cynthia Ng, your host for this series. Selangor over the years has not only emerged as a top destination for investments, the state has also evolved into becoming the leading technology hub of Malaysia. And the cornerstone of the nation's tech ambition is none other than Cyberjaya. Joining me today to talk about a new master plan to realize Cyberjaya's full potential as a global tech hub is Cyberview Sunryam Berhad. Managing Director Najib Ibrahim has big plans in place for the smart city. Najib, thank you so much for coming on the show. Now, three technology clusters have been identified to bring Cyberjaya to the next level, namely smart mobility, smart healthcare and digital creative. Why these three? Talk to us, Najib, about Cyberview's new master plan. Thank you so much, uh, Cynthia. It's our pleasure to be here uh, today. Uh, basically, Cyberview has been mandated by the government of Malaysia to spearhead the development of Cyberjaya. And as you can see, Cyberjaya has been the catalyst of MSC. Now, Cyberview is transforming Cyberjaya to be the global technology hub. So, with this global technology hub, we have implemented already rolled out the new master plan to uh, focusing on uh, three uh, focus areas in terms of the cluster, smart mobility, smart healthcare, and also digital creative. By having these clusters, we will actually uh, enhance uh, the other embedded technologies such as big data analytics, uh, uh, digital creative, uh, internet of things, and, and whatnot. This is actually the uh, um, uh, catalyst for, for Sabajaya moving forward to be transformed from uh, the MSC uh, uh, center and becoming a global technology hub. Talk to us then about making Cyberjaya a global technology hub. Competition is certainly heating up in this region to attract more investors, especially with the rise of the digital economy. What will Cyberview do to create a tech ecosystem that stands out from the rest? Uh, the key word here is that moving forward is about collaboration for us to be able to work with all other investment promotion companies uh, in the country, uh, be it MDAC, MITI, MIDA, Invest, Langor, all those uh, trade agencies uh, currently here uh, in, in Malaysia. And likewise, also we are working closely with all the venture capitalists, uh, like of MEFCAP, Cradle, and, and whatnot. So basically, for us to enhance this uh, eco tech ecosystem in Cyberjaya by providing already completing the um, um, infrastructure, both uh, hard and soft infrastructure and also uh, to improve uh, further the incentive available here for Cyberjaya uh, businesses to flourish. Attractive incentives are certainly key factors in pulling investors in. On that note, Najib, talk to us about the role of industry players like Invest Langor in supporting Cyberview's ambition and providing incentives and assistance to companies looking to make Cyberjaya their home. Uh, we have been working closely with uh, Invest Langor uh, since so many years. Uh, we have participated in a lot of great mission uh, by the state agency. There's a lot of uh, opportunity that Invest Langor has bring to Cyberjaya uh, to promote Cyberjaya as the center of uh, uh, tech technology companies in the state, if not for the whole country and, and region. We are working closely with all those uh, 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 companies uh, currently to be able to bring uh, this company to be uh, operating in, in Cyberjaya, investing in, in all these uh, technology areas, namely in, in the area of uh, smart mobility, smart healthcare and also digital creative. Now, speaking of technology areas, data centers is one interesting area as 90% of data centers in Malaysia are currently located in Cyberjaya. Najib, if you can share with us the growth potential here, Malaysia is looking to be a key destination for companies looking to base their shared services and data centers. 
Uh, so in 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 Sabah itself, it's been known for global support services and data centers, and most of the centers here in Malaysia are located in in Sabah. We receive a lot more. Uh, interested parties they coming in and would able to invest in Sabah in the form of data centers, uh, namely the the current players in in, in Sabah Jaya, NTT, TM1, uh, My Telehouse. They are currently expanding their investment, and likewise we receive uh, uh, quite a, a lot of uh, interested parties, especially from multinational corporation, to be able to come in and and invest in in Sabah Jaya in the form of data center. Moving forward, uh, data center itself. Uh, be in the form of hyperscale or co-location, uh, Cyberjaya is the is the best place in in the country as of now because we have a very mature uh, ecosystem in the form of uh, our soft infrastructure and also uh, hard infrastructure available currently as compared to other location in Cyberjaya. That is very encouraging to hear. And lastly, Najib, picking up on your point on having a mature ecosystem, what's next for Cyberview and how do you plan to make Cyberjaya the destination of choice for investors? Okay, uh, since we roll, roll out our new master plan, uh, we receive quite a lot of interest party that you know we plan to come in and invest in Cyberjaya. And as of now, we have the, the companies from uh, UK, for instance, a mo mo modality uh, system, uh, Capco from the UK, uh, and we have a hemagetonic from uh, the United States, uh, focusing on R&D and C, uh, life sciences and, and, and uh, cancer uh, research. Uh, we have our local uh, uh, companies, uh, Aerodyne also uh, currently investing in Cyberjaya, China Mobile and ACC Global. Yeah? Uh, so apart from that, we are also looking at for to, to improve the, the connectivity in the form of uh, soft uh, connectivity and so hard con connectivity. By 2045, uh, we'll be looking at uh, the Cyberjaya contributing about 240 billion worth of GDP, uh, attracting more than 1,200 companies uh, operating in Cyberjaya and providing jobs, uh, opportunity uh, more than uh, 80,000 uh, job opportunities. Thank you so much for sharing the exciting plans with us, Najib, and we wish you all the best with Cyberview's new master plan. We will go for a quick break. Next, we will take a closer look at the cutting-edge infrastructure driving the growth of Cyberjaya. Stay tuned. InvestLango offers the following services to investors, providing relevant information on the investment process, being the first point of contact in regards to challenges during the process of investment or expansion, supporting the contact management and communication with government agencies, Facilitating the approval of applications with government agencies, identifying suitable industrial land and properties for investment purposes, site selection, establishing contact and introducing property and land owners, establishing platforms and implementing new initiatives to improve investment and business environment. Welcome back to Investment Insider, brought to you by Invest Langor. Joining me right now is Shafina Salim, Head of Technology Hub Development Division at Cyberview, Sundiyan Berhad. Welcome Shafinas and thank you so much for joining us. For many years, Cyberjaya has been known as the nucleus of Malaysia's multimedia super corridor. The next evolution is for Cyberjaya to become a vibrant, smart city equipped with cutting edge infrastructure. Talk to us Shafinas about the unique features. Okay, um, when we talk about uh, Cyberjaya, that means it, we have our own unique offerings. We, we have uh, ahead of the curve in terms of the soft infrastructure. And when we talk about Cyberjaya, innovation, new technologies, uh, what we want to seek after being uh, created uh, uh, in Cyberjaya, right? And when a new innovation coming out uh, from the lab, uh, from the R&D or from the office here, we want to make sure that it's ready uh, for the market uh, through Cyber, Cyberview's uh, subsidiary called Futurize. It helps uh, to fast uh, some of this innovation to be out in the market 
uh, through the uh, regulatory intervention uh, by assisting the key ministries of government according to the industries where this innovation uh, would like to tackle into the uh, market space. I would like to share also the latest uh, unveiling initiatives that are coming from CyberView, uh, where we are naming it to CoSpace, and also uh, through our Cyberjet Investment and Services Centre, where we provide that business facilitation services. And these are uh, the unique offerings that CyberView provides for business investors here in Cyberjet. There's certainly many offerings in place to help companies grow in Cyberjaya. I would also like to talk about the role of Cyberview in assisting companies looking to migrate to Cyberjaya. How does Cyberview step in to help? Okay, um, to answer that, we uh, worked a lot with uh, our partners, uh, our ecosystem partners. Uh, one of our key partners is Invest Slango. Uh, we have covered uh, not just uh, receiving uh, investors, but we will also to cater for companies even going out um, in a way promoting Cyberjaya so that you know the, even the foreign companies able to understand, able to see the potential opportunities for them to invest in Cyberjaya. For example, um, when we do promote investment promotion through webinars um, or even through exhibition uh, in any of the big events, following through that, uh, we would uh, give them uh, a, an actual example through the site visit of these delegations to have a look and have a feel of what Cyberjaya uh, uh, has to offer. On top of that, uh, we would also have the handholding uh, to facilitate uh, what we call the, the funnel of these uh, potential investors. If should, let's say they're looking for uh, office space, uh, we would have to first understand what's their requirement and we take them to uh, give them an, uh, what do you call that, uh, options for them to look at. And then in addition to that, we'll package it uh, with other services that uh, Cyberview uh, offer for, for these kind of businesses. Thank you, Shafinas, for highlighting the initiatives. I would now like to pivot to some of the exciting clusters that Cyberview has identified, namely smart mobility, smart healthcare, and digital creative. What are the developments that we expect from these clusters in the next phase of growth for Cyberview? Uh, we have come up with uh, several other uh, uh, new initiatives. And one of them, if I can share, would be the uh, collaboration uh, campus. Over the past uh, recent years, when we implement uh, the living lab programs and also uh, having the actual, the living lab uh, testing zones, where we have we covered the drone testing zone, we have the My AV uh, autonomous vehicle um, uh, testing route, um, so with that, we see that throughout the a certain area will be uh, an ideal space for companies to complement each other to be in this center. And, and this collaboration campus would then um, meet uh, or align with what we're looking at in attracting R&D companies and also the new emerging technology companies to be here in on top of for us offering the business facilitation that what we mentioned earlier, you know, through our Cyberjet Investment and Services Center. I would like to talk about the collaboration campus that you mentioned earlier, Shafinas. How would this initiative help companies, especially companies involved in R&D, to bring their products to market? And this also would ease uh, these companies, be it in terms of their business investment, as well also for them uh, to grow further. Um, the market access facilitation that we provide because of through our connection, with not just the government agencies, but also with the corporate uh, partners. Um, Cyberview itself has been around for more than uh, 20 years. We have built our uh, networks and connections, and that also covers um, uh, not just within the industry that we're in, aside from just the real estate property, but there are also the other industry segments. Uh, um, can, can it be within um, the biotech space, the healthcare sector, or uh, transportation industry, uh, and so forth? Thank you, Shafinas, for talking to us about the exciting plans from Cyberview in helping transform Cyberjaya to a global technology hub. You have been watching Investment Insider with me, Cynthia Ng. We will see you again in the next episode. Slango is the most attractive investment destination. Find out how we can assist you at www.investslango.my. Join us again in the next episode.